Uh, thanks to Hickler here again. Thanks to the um, to the Ken Corder for allowing me to raise this issue, and thanks very much to the Minister for being here in person to to discuss it with me. I previously raised it and um, a number of months ago, and I was told that there was a review ongoing, and that perhaps I should engage in that review, but that hasn't been successful from from my end. Just to I know the Minister doesn't need any explanation as to what Beach Park provides, but I'll do it for the record of the House. There's a number of autistic units in a number of Northside schools that I deal with quite frequently. It's called Ciaran in Dunning Kearney, uh, it's called Regia in Dunning Mead, it's called Colin Killen in Dunning Mead, and a later Constellation in Dunning Kearney as well. They have a number of units there. Beach Park services provide a number of services for these children, speech and language services, occupational services, uh, occupational therapy, I should say, play therapy, and psychological services. And so these are obviously very needy, very vulnerable uh, children. And the staffs there within are doing their best to, to, to serve their needs. There have been varying different uh, viewpoints as to what um, Beach, Beach, Park, Beach Park can do for a school. Many schools say that once they get the services, they're delighted with them. May other schools say that it's very, very difficult to even access, access them in the, in, in the first place. I've been told that some private diagnostic assessments are not being recognised by the HSE for referrals to Beach Park. So that's a, an added uh, problem. But what schools are, are currently being told is that essentially new children will not get these services. That older children will now be almost played off against each other because they're going to be assessing, assessing their needs to be alloc allocating these, these, uh, these resources on the basis of needs on, um, that various different children will have. One child maybe be more ne needed than, than, than another. I don't know how anybody can assess the difference between one autistic child and another. I know there's various different uh, degrees uh, on the spectrum, but at the same time, I would have thought that uh, any child who's been admitted to a unit uh, needs all the support that they can possibly get. Essentially, um, principals are now looking at a situation where older children in their units will be getting services, and younger children or new, uh, new um, uh, children who are, who are, who are um, apply or, or who come into this service will not be getting the same level of service. And I want to know, uh, Minister, in terms of the review that I've been told is ongoing, has that re review been completed? Uh, can a communication which brings clarity to the situation be brought to all schools, and not just in my own constituency, but all schools that, that depend on these services? Because there's a huge amount of uncertainty, there's a huge amount of trauma um, related to this issue. Because, you know, in this House last Friday, we passed an autism bill, and it was graciously accepted by yourself, Minister, and. Uh, a number of speeches were made across the House about you know, the fact that Ireland has grown up in, in, in terms of this issue. However, when something like this happens, parents who care deeply, obviously, about their children, who feel strongly about their uh, advancement in life, um, begin to wonder as to, as to what's going to happen next. They had a sense of, of security, a sense of certainty as to the provision that their, their, that their child was going to get, and now there's no certainty around it anymore. And what the school is looking at is a situation where older children ha had services that were provided for them by Beach Park, and now they have a situation where younger children who come into the same service will not get the same uh, allocation of resources. Uh, I know budgets are tight. I know things are difficult. Uh, but at the same time, it's the haziness, the lack of clarity, the total uncertainty that um, surrounds this entire issue that needs to be cleared up. I think the schools have to be uh, dealt with in a more professional, more um, compassionate manner. I think we need to uh, ensure that they know exactly where they stand. I think the parents of these children need to know exactly where they stand. And we have to ensure a situation where we don't have a dichotomy in any autistic unit, that older children are getting services that the, that the younger children aren't. So, Minister, I appreciate your presence here, and I'd be uh, interested to hear uh, your response to, to the issue that I've raised. Thank you, Deputy. Uh, Minister uh, James Riley to reply. Thank you very much, Peter Hulick. And I'd like to thank Deputy O'Riordan for raising this matter. The Government is committed to protecting frontline services, including services for children with disabilities and autism, to the greatest extent possible by seeking to maximise the provision of services within available resources. Beach Park, as you know, is a regional HSC service which provides clinical supports for children with a specific diagnosis of autistic spectrum disorder up to 18 years of age who attend designated special schools, outreach preschools and outreach classes in Dublin, Kildare and Wicklow. The service has to operate within the financial and other parameters applying. 
Importantly, the Beach Park Service is working with local implementation groups on the, the progressing disability services for children and young people across Dublin North East and Dublin Mid Leinster to focus on the current service model and service delivery structure provided by all service providers in the area with a view to addressing the realignment of the resources in the context of the report of the National Reference Group, the National Review of Autism Services Report and the Progressing Disability Services Programme. This issue has also been examined by Dublin Beach Park Service Review Group. Specifically in relation to the issue of speech and language therapy services, the HSC aims to ensure that the resources available are used to the best effect in order to provide assessment and ongoing therapy to children and adults in line with their prioritised needs. Along with the significant investment in the area of speech and language therapists employed in recent years, a range of new approaches have been developed and used in many speech and language therapy services across the country. These include providing structures, training and support to parents, carers, so that they can work to help improve the individual's speech and language. In addition, therapy is delivered in group settings where appropriate. These changes to speech and language therapy services aim to ensure that services are provided based on the level of need in an equitable manner and in line with evidence-based practice. It also facilitates access to services where vacancies arise having regard to employment control parameters which apply. In that context, Beach Park Speech and Language Therapy Services in North Dublin has been moved to a rotation system within the school-based model in an attempt to meet the needs of children across the entire service. The Speech and Language Therapy Service is due to rotate schools in April. The individual needs of children will be kept under review. The Speech and Language Therapy Service will also continue to be available on a consultation basis in relation to ongoing programmes. While the current economic situation in the country is presenting challenges in terms of how best to maximise provision of services within available resources, I am committed to protecting frontline services including children's disability and autism services to the greatest extent possible. But I do want to acknowledge, Deputy, that I'm less than happy with the situation. I'm not happy with the level of service being delivered. I'm acutely aware, as you are, of schools that don't have a service, even though they've got special schools, they have special needs assistance. I've asked for a review in the department. I have had conversations today with Mr. Tony O'Brien, who's the DG designate in, uh, of the HSE and the, and the new governance arrangements, with us specifically to look at how staff are being rotated, but also to look at how the moratorium is impacting on frontline staff, especially therapists in this area. For parents, of children with autism, each week without a service is a serious concern. Their opportunity to reach their full potential is being compromised and I find that unacceptable and I certainly intend to take this up with Minister Lynch, whose area of remit it is. And I, I, I have always agreed with her approach in relation to the early diagnosis that the service should be there from which a diagnosis should arise but equally, once that diagnosis is made, the more specialist service should be available to the child as required. And I, I, I know that she will, won't be one bit happy about this either. So, I mean, I certainly will revert to the deputy. Thank you, Minister. Deputy, I'll that. has two further minutes. Uh, on that basis, I mean, I'm impressed, Minister, not just with your, with your own presence here today to, to, uh, to debate this issue with me, but also with your with your willingness to move off script, if you like, and, and, to, and to give a quite impressive and, and impassioned defence of the services that the, these children need. And I, I take you at face value that you're going to communicate with Minister Lynch on this issue and, and revert to me in due, in due course. Uh, we are in agreement of the needs for, for, these, for, for parents and for the children to, to access the, uh, the services that they, that they require. Um, I want to take you up, perhaps, on, 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 on reverting or having a conversation uh, in due course when, when, it, when uh, that conversation can take place. Um, I acknowledge your commitment to, to the issue. I think we should also acknowledge, though, that there's a, a huge level of, of, um, of disconnect between schools and parents and the service, the service providers. And there's a level... Uh, that disconnect is not good. It's not good for the relationships that need to build up over, over a period of time. That needs to be ironed out. The very least they should expect to get is clarity. But um, I, I thank you for, for your commitment to this issue. 
and I appreciate your offer to, to refer to me and hopefully we'll have, uh, we'll have positive news for the, for the parents involved. Thank you, Deputy. Minister, final reply. I appreciate the, the Deputy's comments. Um, and just for the record, many years ago I was involved in the setting up of Beach Park when I was on the health board. This service was based on the south side but was to serve the entire of the area that I've outlined, Dublin, Kildare, Wicklow. Uh, I'm not happy that we have an equal distribution of service across the region and I've asked for that to be addressed. I also allocated 1 million euro per annum for three years to the area of autism uh, and I await more complete reports as to how that money has been spent and how it has impacted on the service because in all areas of patient care now what we need to focus on is not so much inputs as outcomes and to measure outcomes. Having said that though, it's quite clear if there's no therapist available to support the SNAs that this, the ch children will not receive the optimum care that they should be receiving. The review you did mention earlier on, sorry and I didn't respond, is not complete. Uh, I would like to say though that um, we are the first government to put in place at principal officer level an individual across health, education and children to deal with intellectual disability and autism and indeed childhood obesity as well. So I will certainly come back to the deputy. I believe this is a very serious situation and it's one that I'm going to address aggressively with Minister Lynch and I believe that she's as committed as I am to seeing the situation corrected and certainly in relation to the moratorium we want to see the sort of flexibility applied there that will not prevent people taking up posts in, in this specific area because it's of its huge importance to the future of children.